starting out a new hobby or skill but hey how's it going this is your boy a godly coming at you with another video for the aim journey and i wanted to talk about uh pretty much my beginnings with it and then now to you know up-to-date progress now starting off or when i actually started using aim training i was actually using kovacs and it was a uh, aimer z's uh, program you know the pretty much training because i literally just got my computer this was in like september i think uh, I want to say 19 or 14. Uh, I don't have it in my notes, I believe. Oh, actually, yeah, I do. I, I was starting to train during July of 29th, 2021. And that was, yeah, like I said, Amber Z's program, I did that for a little bit. And then uh, I was just checking out the Kovacs, you know, Twitch channel and to see how to, you know, the category would do if I started streaming. And then I was talking to the one named Bea, Bea, or Bela, who, uh, told me about the community voltaic and you know oh what does that mean and then you know looked it up it was a whole aiming community it was mind blown and they had standards and everything and so you know i tried it and on my first attempt i believe it was on 19 cm i'll throw it on the screen for you uh i, I believe i tested or I actually completed to bronze 2 which wasn't really surprising because i played controller all of my gaming life and Play that for a little bit. I ordered a mouse pad and new mouse. Got the you know the Zowie ZA 12B and then the GSRSE mouse pad, which I said in my first video, and that instantly made improvement. That alone made a pretty good. Job. I went from bronze two to literally completing. All right, no, no, hold on, hold on. I'm getting a little carried away, but I'll put it on the screen. Went from bronze two, made it to silver. I didn't end up like finishing any of the benchmarks. I did a couple and it was just so shocked at how you know, getting, having a bigger surface area was with the new mouse pad. So then, you know, I started getting more serious about the training. Eventually completed my silver ranks on November of 11th, 2021. And then I made gold in January 14th of 2022. And then I think around that mark is when the holidays happened. So I literally ended up going from, you know, Hawaii back to Virginia, just, you know, buying gifts, doing all this family events and stuff. So I took a good, not a good size break. I took a small size break, came back and uh, started on the Respectable Aims, or I don't know why I keep saying Respectable Aims, uh, Revo Sex um, benchmarks on the 27th of January, 2022, uh, made first the ace rank and then a couple days later i made the legend rank and it was literally the only starting point was the switching criteria and then i did that went back to voltaic and then on the 25th of february i finally surpassed gold and then some made it to gold too and then i'll throw that off on the video as well for you guys and that is actually my current progress as of now. I, have, I normally do a benchmark once a week. If I'm feeling it, then I'll do it twice a week, but I just normally do it once because, you know, I'm constantly looking for weaknesses or what else I can improve on. And yeah, but for current goals, I am I want to reach Grandmaster Voltaic just because of the name. I like the name. Uh, I think that's pretty far in. I think as much as I've read and got the consensus of advanced, you don't really need to do, but anything past Grandmaster, like, you have to be like a, you pretty much have to be a demigod or a god like you you absolutely have to be just to achieve that rank so i want to say oh, well i like the grandmaster rank just literally because of the name and i mean we'll see how i feel when i get there but then for revel sex benchmarks i'm gonna try and get to uh, am i saying it right archon i was thinking immortal at first because i mean archon i mean i'm not gonna lie at this time i don't know what that means but i like the immortal name but we'll see you know life is a funny way of uh, changing perspectives and everything but yeah we'll see when we get there and then uh my current schedule that i like to do currently is i'll do the first day voltaic i'll train in the fundamentals second day i'll switch over to revo sex uh um revo sex signs for aim lab which they don't really have a fundamental so i've kind of been using voltaics aim labs uh, fundamentals just to train or I literally just I just do the uh, the benchmarks for Revo sex since there is no training I just said well f you know F it I'm gonna just train that either that scenario or find harder ones just to train it and then uh, the next day after those two I'll do a day literally focus on weaknesses like if I think uh, alright I could improve better in this area or this aspect then I'll do it 
but I'll throw that up all on the video. It might not be in order. It might be in order, but I'm trying to just dish out, you know, some my progress. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to make it uh, well constructed all this time and effort in the video. I'm just going to, you know, pretty much do like a semi rent and then post up either progress and, you know, how it feels or how it deems fit and, you know, go from that. We'll see. I mean, yeah, but if you want to provide feedback, you can always leave a comment you know, like, and do all the stuff that the algorithm loves. But uh, that's going to be it for me. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter, which I'll look at the messages. Uh, I normally don't get on Twitter. I normally just look at news on Twitter, but you can just hit me up if you want. Or just comment on the video. Do what you please. Be sure to subscribe if you like, or leave some feedback. Do whatever you want. And this is going to be end of today's video. And I appreciate you for giving me your time and attention and as always stay godlike